Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News. And, um, you know, people come to this channel for unbiased news. You know, unbiased opinion. You know, not, you know, for others, you know, that just like a certain fighter. You know, I understand you go into certain channels because they support that fighter and they're going to curve their perspective to fit that fighter's good graces. Okay, like you have Dante's Boxing Nation, which is a good channel to me. I mean, I have nothing against any channel because I know I just know where uh, where certain channels are coming from. You know, you got E Nuts over there. You know, he every post is about Eddie Hearn. You know what I mean? And it's like a derogatory one simply because it's like, um, you know, he blames um, he blames AJ solely on the negotiations falling through with Wilder, you know, so he's a pro Wilder guy. I get that. It's just another biased channel. But, you know, w the problem is, you know, people that follow, it's it's not really what you say. It's how many people that listen to what you say. It doesn't matter if it's true or false. Obviously, you know, um, a video that he posted today, he was saying that Eddie Hearn contradicted himself. You know, first he said Eddie Hearn said it was a only a forty million dollar fight. Now he's saying it's the biggest in boxing history. Okay. Um let me clear that up, first of all. Eddie Hearn did say it's more like a forty or fifty million dollar fight in July. July the fifth. Okay. Dude, it's November, it's September 23rd right now. That's been over two months ago. This was before the Tyson Fury thing happened. Here's the thing about new media. Things change all the time. You know, info comes out. Info gets out there. You know, and Wilder, because of the negotiations with AJ, AJ was that star. He was that heavyweight star. And because of that, because of the negotiations with Wilder, people know, people didn't know. A lot of people didn't know who Wilder was. Unless you were on the boxing scene, okay? If you weren't on the boxing scene, you were you wouldn't know who Deontay Wilder was. He was that other other heavyweight that hadn't fought no one. He fought Ortiz back in March. That raised his profile single handedly, you know. But the negotiations that pondered on and pondered on got people's attention. Like, hey, why? Why is it that this fight hasn't happened. So it became more like a May pack situation that regardless of what that is, regardless of what that is, it became a May pack type of situation. Like, Hey, will this fight ever happen? So that made it more intriguing. So yeah, that profile raised even more and even more and even more. Okay. So what ended up happening with that? Then out of nowhere, Tyson Fury, as of maybe a month ago says, I'll fight him. You know, and of course, he just uh, decided to come back on the scene because he came out of, uh, you know, uh, of his problems and his stuff that he was going through. OK. Um, and yeah, on top of the Prevectin fight, the Prevectin fight um, was a good fight. And, you know, he, he got the mandatory out of the way. OK. And um, then. You had uh, Tyson Fury, and everyone's assuming that Wilder's going to beat Tyson Fury. So after he beats Tyson Fury, because, again, a Hearn did say Wilder has to up his profile, especially in Britain. He's fighting a British fighter. He's fighting a lineal champ. That's how you do that, right? So it was a good move by Wilder. You know what I mean? And that's where that comes from. And the $50 million, okay, let's talk about that briefly. Fifty million dollars was introduced. They needed proof of funds, and then Enut said, "Well, I thought you said the money wasn't there." He said, "There's a lot of money in America." He didn't say the fifty million dollars was in America. See, he's twisting words. You know, you're taking that out of context. He wasn't talking about the fifty million dollars for the initial, uh, con. You know, the initial negotiations, right, or the proposal to fight. He was talking about eventually fighting in America. AJ fighting in America. And because he knows the money that you can make in America. That's what he said. He didn't say anything about $50 million for that particular uh, proposal at that time, which was in what, July, June, maybe. So it wasn't even about that. 
So I don't know why people see that's how people curve uh, their perspectives and make you think that, oh, it's all about AJ and Hearn. Look, both of those guys were at fault, I feel. You know what I mean? Like, but the WBA was the mandatory. So that was a good enough reason to stop negotiations with Wilder, especially when Wilder wouldn't take certain things. Then he says, oh, I want to take the money. So then he decided to change his mind about taking something that he already blasted on social media that wasn't enough, that was slave outrageous. That is it in a nutshell. Anyone else that wants to say anything about anything else, it's stupid because it's like, hey, we've talked about this topic again and again and again. Then he mentioned, oh, well, I thought AJ, he said, why would you need a poll when you already know it's number one? You know, and of course I had to rebuttal. I was like, I had to counterpunch. I was like, dude, do you, did you read the whole interview or did you read what you want to hear? Because a lot of people do that. They read what they want to hear and they only do that because they want you to think a certain way about a certain fighter. You know what I mean? If you really want unbiased news from here, you want to get it unbiased. You want to get the truth. You want to get it from a, a an honest perspective, not a biased one. You know what I mean? Not a, just a one-sided, you know, you come here because it's like that with he saying, oh, well, you know, um, Wilder, it was, it, you know, Wilder wants to fight and AJ don't want to fight. No, if, if AJ didn't want to fight, AJ would have said, hey, I don't want to fight you. You know, I mean, we could clearly see he ducked um, Dillian White. But here's the deal. The British. You ask yourself a question, who's more popular, Dillian White or Tyson Fury? So he took Tyson Fury. So, yeah, after he knocks out Tyson Fury, his profile will be raised. And, yeah, that fight probably would be one of the biggest fights. But, again, you're talking about a person that's a promoter. So, yeah, if that fight's on the horizon, of course he's going to be hyping that fight up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and things change. A lot can happen in two months, okay? A lot can happen in two months. Someone can get knocked out. This is boxing. So, you know, I just had to counterpunch that because a lot of people go to that particular channel for a certain insight. But then it's some people like me, like some of you guys that want to come here and want to read some positive, non-biased news, counterpunch boxing news. So you guys need to subscribe here if you want to hear that. Now, if you want just biased, okay, go where you've been going. But anyway, um, that's my counterpunch on that. I had to get that out there. But, um, but of course, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.